Hello, Divine Collective. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Divine Goddess Enlightenment. I'm Ashley, and I am here with some cosmic downloads for you guys. As you tap in, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. Make yourself at home. Hit the bell so you can be notified every time I drop a read. I hope you guys are having a fabulous afternoon. I'm doing well. The link to my self-published poetry book, The Unpolished Diamond, will be in the description as well as the About section. I would like to take this time out to thank all my new subscribers. Welcome. Thank you to my day ones. You guys have been nothing short of amazing. And I truly appreciate every single last one of you. Okay, you guys. So we're going to tap right into the vibes here. This is the vibes. Like Spirit is really saying people should have listened to you. People are finally coming to that harsh realization that they should have listened to you. Because the things you prophesied about, the things you told people would happen, the, th the very thing you tried to warn motherfuckers about is actually coming to pass, okay? Things that you spoke on are actually manifesting. I just seen 111, one, one okay? Somebody's birthday, January 11, okay? 2011 is highly significant. But yes, you... um. People are seeing they should have listened to you. You come as a warning before destruction, I'm getting. Okay? God sent you and people reality as a wake-up call, as a warning. And you've warned numerous of people. You try to show people certain things. You try to warn them about certain things to come. And what they say? They looked at you like you was crazy. Okay? They looked at you as if... You wasn't knowledgeable in what you were speaking on. Now they are greatly regretting it. They're regretting not taking heed because destruction has came. You were the warning before destruction and it came. Okay. My bad, y'all. Y'all know I be writing stuff down. Y'all know this. Y'all know this. Okay. <laughs> okay. But that's the vibe, y'all. And it it's like, you've always been this seer since a child. You've always had these gifts. You've always been able to see beyond the physical realm. Okay. Because you have a, a powerful connection to the spiritual realm. You, you are energetically connected to the spiritual realm and you are, you have the gifts to be able to, um, connect with different type of spirits and different type of spirits come to you. Okay. Because of your light, because they know who you are, bro. So it's like, you've always been, had this gift to see beyond a physical realm. And you always had this gift to be able to predict future events. Okay. Uh, I really pick it up on someone like, uh, I'm getting like, you're someone like like you are a predictor. You could be someone you found that you are able to predict the weather, or you're very tapped in with the with the different seasons here. Like you could pre you predict shit, okay? The shit you predict be accurate, all right? You're starting to notice that. I'm also getting you could be someone like that read astrology. You are very knowledgeable about birth charts, or you read birth charts. You read the stars. You're very in tune and aligned with the stars. Okay. This is how you are literally able to predict future events. All right. This is why you have such a powerful connection to the other side here. All right. And you have individuals like literally try to discredit your gifts because they didn't want you to believe you had any. They didn't want you to believe you had any gifts. A lot of people knew you were a seer as a child and you had special psychic abilities, okay? And um, the reason why growing up, they try to discredit you by saying you were mentally ill or whatever these people did to try to discredit you uh, is because they didn't want you to like tap into your true potential and your power, all right? Because you're very powerful, bro. This is why people are very terrified at this time. They're terrified about the judgment you reign in you rendering on motherfuckers because it's not you literally doing it. It's you giving God, like, like telling God that's the judgment. Like, I don't know how y'all relationship is with God, but like, I could tell God, 
I want this to be their judgment and that's what it is. Okay. And like, maybe you, you like this too. You had that type of connection. You got that type of rank to be able to do that. That's why I was picking up on like a reincarnated Maya energy, literally. Okay. Cause you have that type of pull in the spiritual realm to say, this is their karma. This is their karma. I want that to be their karma. Whatever you say goes. It's the rank. It ain't because you think you all that. It ain't because um, you and your ego. It's because God literally fucking says so. God say so. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> um, so that's why all your life these motherfuckers try to discredit your gifts. Tries to write you off as if you were some type of lunatic or as if you were delusional when the whole time you're a highly uh, gifted child, okay? Um, that's, like I said, you're able to connect with different spirits. They come to you because of light. When you was little, it could have been dead, like your dead ancestors, dead family members coming to you. And, and you used to like see ghosts, like literally. It wasn't ghosts, it was spirits. It was spirits. You always seen these spirits. They always used to come to you because you the gifted one. All right. And I, I'm getting like, um, like I said, like some type of reader. You could be a reader. Don't have to be. But I'm really picking up on someone that reads the stars, reads the strategies. And the reason why these spirits come to you, too, is because you're like a medium. You're a channeler. You channel energy. OK, you could decipher and channel with the other, the message, the other side is trying to relate. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You're, you're, you channel shit. Okay. You're able to hear, like I said, you're able to hear within a, the uh, spiritual realm. You're able to see within a spiritual realm. So you're able to relay information, that information to, to certain individuals who may not have those type of gifts or who just can't see, you know, it's a lot of people that can't see with, within this, they can't see beyond this physical realm. Okay. Uh, like I said, uh, be, like Spirit is saying, people should have listened to you. And it's like God sent you on people path as a warning of destruction. Okay. The warning always come before destruction. Look, the warning always comes before destruction. All right. Like I've been picking up that energy all day. God is enraged. God is pissed. How he sat up there, sat back, whatever, how y'all would have put it. But how he sat there and watched these motherfuckers steady come for you and try to destroy you. When God created you, God built you. How dare these motherfuckers try to destroy what God has made? Fuck out of here. God pissed telling you i've been feeling this energy all day y'all like <laughs> and it's crazy knight of swords it could be it's a libra gemini aquarius under heavy scrutiny okay so let's tap in god piss <laughs> you know it, i swear to god bro you someone here you predicted like you tried to tell someone that they was a sacrifice. Like, damn, bro, you could be a reader, like I said, or a channeler, a, 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 mess, a medium, some type of messenger. You could have tried to warn someone that uh, someone was trying to sacrifice them or something, and this person didn't believe you. That's specific for someone. But I get it. Like I said, you predicted a death. You pre predicted an ending for, for a group of people. This not just one person, Okay. You, you predicted an edit for a group of people that didn't believe you. And they are astonished. They are shocked. It's actually happened. It's tower moments happening all around the universe over you. Okay? It's a Scorpio here. It's a Pisces here. Take that energy that resonates, y'all. So, yeah, look. I can't make this up. <laughs> I can't make this up. But it's a lot of people in regret for not taking heed and not listening to you. Because they see the towers that's already manifested. It's too late. It's too late to try to seek your counsel now. That shit did. When you was trying to help motherfuckers, even the motherfuckers that was attacking you. Because you know how God coming about you, bro. You know. You know how your ancestors stepping. They step on shit. They literally whack shit. So you was trying to literally like tell people like, all right, 
Like, okay, this ain't that. And motherfuckers thought you was a joke. Motherfuckers thought God was a joke. Motherfuckers thought your ancient protection was a fucking joke until they manifested and showed motherfuckers 10 10. I just seen what the fuck it is. And that's just the vibes. Okay, so let's get some of our energy from the tarot deck here. Yeah, I can't make this up. These motherfuckers are life has. Life, ha life, life for these motherfuckers, okay? They are burdened, okay? Because they blocked off. They they blocked you. They they blocked you. They shut you out. They shined you. When you try to warn these motherfuckers, now, now it's like they feel like the weight of the world on their shoulder. They alone. They suffering. They going through all these obstacles because they chose to block you out. When you see how intuitive you is with all this water, you could be a water sign. They chose to block you out, okay? Whole time, you're the gifted one. You're the seer. You see this blindfold? These motherfuckers can't see beyond this physical realm. You can. You're tapped in, okay? Let's get some overall energy. Like I said, motherfuckers try to block your intuition as well. When motherfuckers sit a child, yeah, if you was under some type of case study, because people couldn't understand how you was, how you how you was. <laughs> Shit, how you was so advanced. Like people just couldn't, people couldn't fathom or understand that. Okay. But yeah, overall energy, okay? These people are watching you in fear. People are watching you in fear. People are watching you in fear. They don't know what to expect next. You're someone very, although, wow, the irony, although you are a predictor, you could predict shit, you're someone very unpredictable. <laughs> like, motherfuckers look at it, they don't know what you gonna do next, bro. They, don't, they, ain't, they, they scared. These motherfuckers in fear. They don't know what you gonna do next. They know you got, you got that rank, though. They know you have the authority to... Uh, you know, to render certain shit. And people are just, wow, just watching. I'm really picking up, bro. You you were, you, as a child, it's something supernatural you did. And like this motherfucker started watching you as a case study ever since then. Because you did something spectacular. You did something literally out of this world, bro. And motherfuckers just started been watching you Higher up, so your fam, your own family, just watching you grow like you a fucking, I don't know, like you a case study, like you a experiment, okay? See, motherfuckers regret, motherfuckers and, and major regret. You look, I can't make this up. You try to warn motherfuckers. You try to look. This literally the tea. <laughs> you try to give motherfuckers the tea. They ain't want. It was too hot. I guess they ain't want it. Now they in regret. <laughs> this funny. Someone feels like they missed out on an opportunity to heal something with you. You was trying to tell this person something and they didn't they didn't believe you. Yeah, somebody said they hid. Someone is is like in a head. Someone's feelings is very intense at this time. The energy is very intense at, at this time because it's a lot of people. It's a group of people. A lot of people going to prison. You you predict this of downfall. You predict this of going to prison. You you predicted a act wow someone here I just heard you predicted a car accident. Wow, let's see one more. Damn, just a Virgo. Yeah, it's too late now. These people are trapped. These people are stuck. Because they didn't take heed. 
it's like they they don't feel they know it's too late too because they don't feel your energy anymore you they don't feel your energy and it's like if you was around these people or if you were still connected to these people like you, just you being around motherfuckers protects them. You have a protective because you you always are divinely protected. So anyone in your energy field is always protected. But these people know they too late and they watching you in fear. They watching you with these intense ass feelings in their head because they know um, it's, it's it's over. They should they should have listened. Okay. And they they are watching you with these intense feelings in their head because everything you said is coming true. Wow. Okay. Let's get some from my deck. Well, actually, I want to get some from my deck. Oh, shit. My bad, y'all. I just seen 555, the Moonology Jet Pack. It's a lot of uh, shifts. It's a lot of life altering events occurring that you predicted. <laughs> okay. What's the vibe, Spirit? What's the vibes? What's the vibes? The end of a, a rough, a tough cycle approaches. The end of a tough cycle approaches. I can't make this up. Emotions running high, okay? Emotions running high because shit, shit is coming to an end. Shit is getting destroyed and demolished. I it say the end of a tough cycle approaches, but I really get it. The it, it may be the end of a tough cycle, but this next cycle gonna be even worse. This is a cycle of destruction, and emotions are rather high. It's a it's a Capricorn here. It's a Capricorn and a head, okay? We have a uh, look at the bigger bigger picture, okay? It's like I said, these motherfuckers, they know how powerful your gifts are. You, you have the ability to see things as they are, to see things beyond this physical, to see things on, on a higher frequency, Okay, and all these people are, they just, they fucking terrified, bro, because they wish like crazy they would have took some type of heed. Okay. <clears throat> Let's clarify emotions are running high. Clarify emotions are running high. Look, because <laughs> it's judgment. Okay, it's like I said, it's a group of people here. It's a group of people here. They see this destruction manifesting. With the Knight of Cups, two individuals are, I've been picking up all this energy. It, individuals are baffled because throughout all the destruction, all the destruction that's going on around us, it is real. You continuously are being blessed and uplifted because you in a whole different reality than my focus. You are your own bubble, your own frequency, okay? This is why uh, it, it's a lot of chaos and turmoil going on in the world, but yet you still happy. You're still growing, elevating. You're still abundant because nothing in this, this physical reality could affect you. <laughs> Period. Spirit says, speak. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's a, I, like I said, a Capricorn here. It's a Capricorn here. That's bound. This person got stuck in some type of karmic contract. And you could have told this person, you could have told this person, they, they, it was spell work they had done to them. You told somebody something and they didn't want to believe you. And shit, they wish they did now. <laughs> Down. Clarify the page of swords. Clarify the page of swords. So, so what is watching you too to see what what you know? This I'm getting a higher official though. I'm getting like officials watching you. 
you better watch on some type of platform. Motherfuckers watch you to see what how much you know. They already know you know a lot. You know everything and shit. I can't make this up. Look, bro. <laughs> this clarifying the page of source, like I said. Motherfuckers watching you to see what, what, what you know. You know everything. You the holder of all the secrets of, of the Akashic records. The, you could go into the Akashic records whenever you feel like it. Okay? This is why people watching you. They know you know sir sh shit. They want to know how you know because you're intuitive. You're tapped in with the moon cycles. Didn't I say that? You have a very powerful connection to the spiritual realm because you're highly intuitive. You are the gifted child, the gifted one, the chosen one, period. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Clarify Eight of Swords. Someone watching you to see if you know their secrets. You do know. You know everybody's secrets. It's a yacht. It's a Leo Sash, Aries in a head, a karmic feminine energy that's watching you to see if you know about some type of betrayal. Yeah, it, this person regret betraying you. It's two people here that regret betraying you, and they both watching you to see if you know about this betrayal. All right, they only regret it though, because your ancestors came through swiftly and got on their ass. All right, um, clarify judgment. Clarify judgment. Ooh, yeah. I can't make this up. Motherfuckers are mind blown and baffled. You you have your good judgment, your good justice, okay? Why these motherfuckers, they emotions and they feel this and they emotions and they head. Because they can't understand how everything around them is fucking crashing and burning and you keep getting blessed in their face. It's quite mind-blowing. Wow. Yeah. You connected to the will of fortune. You are the will. Y'all you, soul been here so long, you created this motherfucker down there. <laughs> The will turn. I can't make this up, y'all. The will turn when you say so. Just like when, like you could talk to God and tell God what what people punishment should be. This dead ass serious, y'all. I'm speaking to someone like myself that got that type of connection. You got that type of rank that you you just say something and it is so it is. Cause you're a general, you do your soul is thousands and thousands of years old. Mm. You ancient as fuck. This why you got pulled with the universe, cause you created it. Woo! Speak. <laughs> oh man, let's get something for my dad. Damn, we gonna tap out, y'all. I got to go to the library. Then I think I'm going to go to the gym later. A narcissistic. Somebody is a narcissist. Yeah, all these narcissists. They thought they was the chosen one. Nar these, well, it's the, all these people delusional, bro. You, you've been dealing with psychotic, delusional motherfuckers. Okay? Something is never ending. Okay? This, this, this. Judgment is eternal. That's why they wish they were to listen because it's not going to end. And it's not going to end because e even if they, it's like motherfuckers trying to pray their way out some shit, but that's not going to work. Your energy demands respect. I can't make this up. You're respected. You're, you're, you're well respected. This is why you got ranked like that. You call the shots when it comes to your lineage. People ain't know you was this well-respected spiritually. They just thought you was just a regular, normal motherfucker. <laughs> a, a regular person. It's nothing regular about you. It's nothing mediocre about you. It's nothing small about you. You big pressure. 
your major here. Let's get a few more spirit. Your major here. Look, I can make this up. It's that frequency. You, this is why people don't understand how you keep getting buddy, how you keep leveling up, how shit keep manifesting for you. You you live in a whole different reality than the rest of the world. All right. Because your your soul, you've you've grown, you you've ascended spiritually. Your soul's growth is is magnificent. Okay? You've grown in a tremendous way. You've grown in a tremendous way. God is, is proud at how much you've grown. How much you've grown. Yeah, galactic beings. <laughs> I can't make this up. Spirits come to you. You 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 tap there with the galactic beings. They talk to you. They say you science. They come to you because they know who you are. And it's spirits that be passing over that come to you too. Because you you are of the light and you are a channeler. You could channel cosmic information to the humans, to 3D people. <laughs> someone going through misfortune. You predicted someone that was going to go broke. You predicted a lot of shit that's just happening, bro. And people are mind blown. People are baffled. People are behooved to look at <laughs> I like what dudes say that. Worldwide, big mistake. Damn. Someone, someone tries to humiliate you in some type of way. Someone tries to expose you in some type of way, and they soon learn that was a big mistake. You could you could have been warned someone about something overseas. It's something significant about overseas. You could have predicted some shit that happened overseas, some type of world event. You be you be predicted. It's because too you could decode the you the matrix. That's how you be predicted shit. Cause you understand, y'all. You gotta understand. Everything is made up of numbers. Everything is made up of numbers. And numbers vibrate on different frequencies too. Everything is energy. That's how you decode the matrix. That's how you able to uh, channel and shit and it's and predict shit because you know you decode the matrix. You 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 know how to decode these codes. These thank you, spirit. <laughs> these synchronicities. Wow. Okay. Okay, let's get some final messages. Final messages, spirit. Yeah. You have a lot of rank. You, you're a very powerful, wise, spiritual teacher as well. A lot of people trust your knowledge and your information because they know you are very hot tapped in and you have a high level of wisdom. It's a Taurus here. And like I said, this is why people... God sent you as a warning, okay? God sent you as a warning before destruction, all right? It's the Taurus here that wish they have what it took he, to, to something you were saying. Let's get some more final messages. <clears throat> it's the King of Cups here. It's someone you are connected to. Someone while you this could be someone you had kids with or you had some type of higher level of commitment with. Someone you were emotionally involved with. Like I said, bro, it's two people watching you to see if you know about a betrayal here. A Leo Sash Aries, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Okay, is watching you to see what do you know about something that happened behind the scenes. Something that you already picked up on. Wow, the King of Cups did the Queen of Cups here. Yeah. You you found out about some type of secret relationship. It could be secret baby too. 
because the moon energy is about like fertility and shit too. Wow. These two individuals are getting severe jet, severe karma. Let's see the final message for it. You could have tried to warn somebody about their spouse. Final message. Yeah. Since a kid, bro. You've always had, like I said, dude, the page of Pinnacle is all about discovery. Did I say that in this read or the last read, y'all? Because I'm doing these two reads back to back. But I know I said someone here like uh, the Discovery Channel. I don't, I don't know if I said that the last read or this read. But yeah, it's the same energy, though, okay? You, uh, like, you always holding these divine gifts as a child. And people trying to block these divine gifts, but later in your life needing you for these same gifts, they shine and try to steal and try to block. Okay? People are just realizing you are truly tapped in and connected.